Welcome to the Illinois Association of College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you all for joining us. A few housekeeping rules before we get started. You can use the Q&A button at the bottom of the screen that you have to put in any question to the college representatives this evening as the presentation goes along. Your camera and microphone are off so we can't see or hear you. So that's gonna be the place where you can communicate with us. The best will be the Q&A button. Also remember there all will be other different sessions going on this evening as well. So please sign up for those if you want to. A recording of this particular session will be available in about a week at strivescan.com backslash Illinois. So other than that, that's all the housekeeping rules for the evening. Let's get the college fair started. Our first school up is gonna be Aurora University. Hi. We're gonna share. So hi, we're Aurora University. I'm Barb McCarthy. And I'm Kelly Kirshner, and we are both transfer admission counselors and are excited to talk to you about Aurora University. First off, we do have a few different campus locations. Our main campus is located in Aurora, Illinois and has about 40 plus majors and is located in a residential community. But we do also have our online programs, Woodstock Center and Orchard Center that host our professional programs, as well as our George Williams College campus, which is a smaller college located on the beautiful Lake of Lake Geneva. We are a private four-year liberal arts university. We have about 6,000 students um, here on campus in, at the Aurora campus, and our average class size is about 25. You will notice that our top majors surround around those helping fields, specifically nursing, education, and social work. We're very proud of our nursing um, program, which has a 94% pass rate on the NCLEX as well as our education program that has a 100% pass rate on the ed TPA. And it is important to note that our nursing, social work, and athletic training programs have additional admission requirements. We also have exciting um, plus one programs on the graduate side. You can see the different areas that are listed, but those plus one programs, you would start in summer, go through fall and spring, have your um, master's degree at the end of that. You will, upon um, enrolling in our uh, plus one program, you are given a computer, your own laptop, where all of your books are also um, uh, downloaded onto. As far as student resources, we do have our Center for Student Success, which is where students would be paired with an academic advisor, who is not only going to help you choose classes and plan your path to graduation, but they will also help with, um, you know, resume, cover letter, interviewing, as well as um, getting an internship. And um, about 75% of those internships do become jobs. So uh, you can do an internship in um, all of our majors. Other resources that we have are a library, academic support center, disability resource center, and faculty and staff. All of these items can be utilized either face-to-face -face or virtually. We do also have our counseling and psychological services, which is available for free to any current AU students. This would offer individual counseling, relationship counseling, and group therapy all of which would be confidential, again, for any AU student. For athletics, we are division three um, athletics. Uh, we compete on that level. Um, you can see all the different sports that we do um, have here. We are excited. We're back on the courts and on the fields for this spring and really looking forward to fall. One other thing I should mention about our plus one program, you can utilize plus one to um, fill out one more year of eligibility if you'd like to compete. As far as cost of attendance, our tuition is about 26,000 for the year. That would be anywhere from about 12 to 17 credit hours. And then if you did wanna live on campus, that would be an additional $12,000 um, on average, depending on the room and meal plan that you chose. But we are very proud to be one of the most affordable private schools in Illinois. We do offer merit scholarships to those students working towards their first bachelor's degree. 
We automatically award those merit scholarships at time of admission based on your transfer GPA. You can see the corresponding GPAs and dollar amounts um, that you're awarded. We also have additional scholarships that we stack on top of those merit scholarships. Um, if you feel that you qualified for one of those, just talk to your admissions counselor and we can get you hooked up. Additionally, most of our students do qualify for some sort of financial aid. So we do recommend that students file their FAFSA starting October 1st. That will review you for any um, grants, loans, or federal work study. But we do also have the net price calculator available if you want to see your estimated out-of-pocket cost. So your next steps, one, apply, which is free at aurora.edu slash apply. Send official transcripts from any college or university you've attended and file your 21-22 FAFSA. Um, you can also be thinking about, we do have an unofficial evaluation. Um, you can request that. Basically, if you go to aurora.edu slash transfer credit, make that all one word, um, you can upload your unofficial transcripts and um, we'll take care of the rest. We'll provide you an evaluation based on the major that you're interested in. But we would love to connect with you. You can reach out to anyone on our transfer team. Barb works with our School of Education. April Hicks works with our Business and Public Policy students. I myself, Kelly, work with our School of Social Work and Psychology students. And then Sarah Winker does work with all of our nursing students. So we'd love to hear from you and we thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much, Aurora University. You had some great information for us. Next, we're gonna have Illinois Institute of Technology. Awesome, thank you so much for having us tonight. My name is Jamie and I'm on the line here with Marie as well. I'm hoping that you can see my presentation. Can I just get a confirmation? Yes, we can. Awesome, thank you so much. All right, so we are from Illinois Tech. It's also known as Illinois Institute of Technology. As you can see by the picture, we're right in the heart of the city of Chicago. It's about a 10 to 15 minute train line ride from our campus into downtown. Obviously the city brings with it a lot of great advantages, access to great food, awesome sites, but for academics, it means that there's a lot of opportunity for internships, students on our campus, meet with faculty who are still connected to the industry, which means they have awesome access to research opportunities. Students who are applying um, and attending as undergrads often have a chance to get involved in research very early on in their career and get published. So that's something that we're very proud of and is a hallmark to our education. Some other things that we are known for or are pillars for our students are the fact that we're innovators, entrepreneurs, interdisciplinary thinkers, and hands-on learners. These themes are woven through Throughout our curriculum and the work that students do in their classes really helps to set them apart when they go to get a job because they've been working on hands-on learning and oftentimes real-world projects and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. I'm going to pass it over to Marie to let you know a little bit about our, our colleges. Perfect. So we have about five different colleges. Um, we have, you know, our College of Engineering, College of Architecture, Computing, our Colleges of science and letters, which is pretty much humanities, and our school of business. Um, amongst them, we have about more than 40 majors and a number of different minors that students can choose from. A lot of these majors do have specializations as well. So if a student is interested in a major, but interested in a very specific academic part of that major, they are able to specialize by taking electives related to that kind of interest in there. Another thing too, like we're so known for our STEM programs, but our business school really allows students to set themselves apart when they go to get a job because they are often pairing that business degree with a specialization in tech. And so something that you will see across all our majors is that students are taking programming classes and often having a tech focus to their specialization, which is a really great bonus of attending a STEM school and potentially being interested in a humanities uh, Subject. All right. Another unique thing we have is we have what's called an accelerated master's degree. And so what we tell students is, you know, come in, study for your bachelor's degree, and you can add an additional year without having to take, you know, GREs or other exams and without having to submit a new application. 
and we will allow you to finish a master's degree within an additional year while paying undergraduate tuition rates versus having to pay graduate level tuition rates. Um, you know, there are a number of combinations that students try to do. Um, a few of those kind of popular examples are listed below, but it's definitely an opportunity for students that are looking to get their master's degree to benefit from. And so when we first started this, we mentioned those pillars of an Illinois tech education. And here we see some of those examples and how they come out in our curriculum. All students do an introduction to the profession, which is in their first semester at our school. And they're exposed to industry professionals who come into the classroom who will let students know what it's like to work in the field. And then projects are centered around types of um, tasks that would be given when in that workforce so that students can identify right away that they're in the right major or meet with their advisor and say, you know, it wasn't exactly what I thought and they can get on the track that they want to be on quickly. Another thing that we have open to students is the idea shop, which is a maker space and is a great place for students to build their entrepreneurial and innovative skills. It's a place for students to tinker with a lot of different tools. This one student pictured here actually, uh, you know, majored in mechanical engineering, but started his own toy company. He's holding up there an X cube, which is a Rubik's cube on steroids. And the work that he did at Illinois Tech allowed him to design and innovate this new toy, but then he also was able to get the entrepreneurial support through classes and through our organizations to be able to start his company and be his own CEO once he graduated. We also offer Elevate, which is experiential learning opportunities. Students can do traditional study abroad and uh, work studies, but the Elevate program allows students to sometimes get a scholarship to do those things, get paid for internships that might not otherwise be paid. So that's a really great bonus to round out students' education. And then finally, my favorite aspect of our um, education at Illinois Tech is the IPRO. All students complete two of these, and they are interdisciplinary projects where students from different majors are put onto teams, and they are solving some sort of problem. So for example, a group of students recently worked on developing um, algae that can degrade plastics in the ocean since that's a large problem. We had another group of students working to build housing for people experiencing homelessness in the city. They've done tech innovation, uh, coming up with something called a power puck that allows 60 different users to charge a device at one time. And so you're no more faced with that issue of being in a cafe where you don't have an outlet to plug into. So those are some great things that you can see at Illinois Tech. And um, I'm gonna keep moving on because I know our time is short. We have a lot of access to student life. We aren't just about academics, but the organizations that we have here can really help students to round out their education and get some social interaction as well. Marie, I'll pass it back to you for admissions and financial aid. Perfect. So yeah, going into admissions and financial aid, just to give you guys a general overview. Perfect. Yeah, so all of our transfer st students do receive a transfer scholarship. This is just by virtue of application being admitted. Our transfer scholarships range from 14000 all the way to 30000 per year, and they are not stackable with anything except for the PTK scholarship. We do have specific um, scholarship agreements with certain schools. So we have it with the City College of Chicago, Triton College, College of DuPage, and along with uh, Wright College. And these are 25000 per year guaranteed scholarships. Additionally, we do have scholarships that require separate applications. These include our Transfer Leadership Scholarship, which is a 30000 per year in addition to the 5000 All of these scholarships don't have to have reapplying. Um, essentially, once we promise them to you, they are good for for a period of up to three years as transfer students. And the only scholarship that is stackable is our PTK scholarship. To give you a breakdown of the cost, these are about the costs that we have. Now, one key thing to note though is Illinois Tech does give a significant amount of scholarships. So between our merit-based scholarships and any need-based scholarships you receive directly from the school, um, it does bring that cost down significantly. There's actually on the bottom, uh, right side, there's a link that actually has the net price calculator. You're able to use that link to kind of put in your own financial information and it will give you, you know, within a range of about, let's say, $500 or so, what you can expect to actually be paying. 
And so we're just rounding it out here, letting you know that we've been ranked highly for opportunity and value, uh, best value by Forbes, Time, Money Magazine, and Princeton Review, and that we're consistently, consistently ranking within the top uh, universities in the country for this opportunity and value and social um, and economic mobility. So we hope that you can set up an appointment, visit our campus. We are doing uh, in-person tours now, and we'd love to meet with you. Here's our contact information. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Illinois Tech. Remember, once again, if you do have questions for any of our representatives this evening at all, please put those questions in the Q&A area. All right, next we're gonna have St. Anthony College of Nursing. Hey, yes, everyone. Welcome to our transfer fair virtual um, fair tonight. My name is Alina and I am the recruiter for St. Anthony College of Nursing. Um, I've been here for just over three years, so I'm super jazzed to be here. Uh, just want to touch base a little bit about St. Anthony College of Nursing. We are located in Rockford, Illinois, and we are an upper division college. Um, so what that means is that you um, will be able to complete your prerequisite courses first and then transfer to St. Anthony College of Nursing to complete your um, nursing classes, your labs and clinicals here at St. Anthony College of Nursing to earn your Bachelor of Science in Nursing and RN license so you kind of get the best of uh, both worlds with us. We also do have an RN to BSN program which we will definitely go over as well but I do like to highlight on both opportunities here at St. Anthony College of Nursing. Um, but the biggest thing that I like to touch base about is and share with students who are looking into um, a nursing program is our NCLEX path rate. Um, so again, you're gonna earn your Bachelor of Science in Nursing, which is your bachelor's degree, but you're also gonna be earning your RN license with St. Anthony. And your RN license means that you are able to work as a nurse. Um, so at St. Anthony College of Nursing, we have a 99% pass rate for students on their very first attempt pass the NCLEX. So 99% of our students passed the NCLEX in 2020 on their very first attempt. So as you're looking at different nursing programs, this is the biggest thing that I recommend students to look into is uh, uh, nursing programs NCLEX pass rate. Um, so you can just hop on your internet search and look at different nursing programs and this is going to be a really good indication. So the big part about NCLEX is to show how a nursing program prepare students not only to earn their RN license, but to be a successful nurse. So looking at nursing programs with those high NCLEX pass rates um, are super important for you. So uh, for, at St. Anthony College of Nursing, um, I want to go through that application process. I know sometimes the transfer process can be um, a little bit overwhelming um, looking at, oh, I have to go to this school, then I have to transfer to another, and there's just so many this and that, I just want to break it down because that transfer process into St. Anthony College of Nursing is just a really easy transition and we're here to help you every step of the way. Again, I'm the recruiter here, so um, St. Anthony, we're a transfer only, so we really want to make sure that we're here to support that transfer process. Um, for In order to apply to St. Anthony College of Nursing, um, we require 32 credit hours. Um, so that is usually after your first semester of college is complete. Um, one nursing science course, which is anatomy and physiology, chemistry, or microbiology. Um, and of course, having C or higher in your um, classes. But what's really nice is after that first year of college, just typically when we see students apply, is that you're going to have a really good foundation of your prerequisite courses into transferring into St. Anthony College of Nursing. Now, I do like to throw up the um, our high school early entry program for this is for any students who are attending college in their first semester who are interested in, in um, a nursing program. So we are allowing um, a early acceptance for a high school early entry program. So if you're still in your first semester um, in college and watching this video, definitely check out our high school early entry program. But for our transfer process, I really just want to focus on um, our prerequisite requirements. Um, so my first recommendation when you're looking into St. Anthony is having your official transcripts sent to St. Anthony College of Nursing. Um, that is actually part of the application process. So it already checked that off of the list for the application, but it just is a great first step to see where you're at in the transfer process to St. Anthony. Um, I have our admissions information where you can send um, your transcript electronically or by US mail. Electronic is a little bit faster right now, but of course you're welcome to do um, either one. 
you're you're welcome to send me your unofficial transcript as well. But the purpose of having your transcript sent to St. Anthony is really going to give us a good idea about your nursing opportunity. Opportunity, excuse me. And we'll talk about our traditional and direct admission opportunities in just a moment. But just starting off with your um, transcripts, it'll be able to the opportunity to review your classes that you've completed, currently enrolled in, or may still need to complete. So just a good um, just evaluation to see where you're at in that transcript process. Um, but overall, the application process is super short and sweet. It's your application, application fee, your entrance exam, and your official transcripts. Now, we've already talked about your official transcripts um, being sent to St. Anthony, so we'll jump right into the application process. You can visit our website, sacn.edu, and click that big orange button. I took a screenshot right off of our um, website, and you can click Apply Online. Um, the application fee is $75, and I know no one ever wants to pay an application fee, but that does cover your TEAS exam, which we'll jump right into. Um, so pretty much any nursing program is gonna have some type of entrance exam. We use the TEAS exam, best of essential academic skill. That's based more so about the high school level. So it's not any like crazy master's level um, type of science questions or anything like that, um, but it's based at the high school level, similar to like an ACT or SAT. Um, you'll be tested on math, reading, English, and science. So basically you'll complete your application and application fee. We'll reach out to you to say, great, thank you so much for completing that application process. We're ready to schedule your TEAS exam. Um, so we'll be able to get that scheduled for you. You can take it in seat or virtually, whatever feels um, right to you. And we can get that scheduled and completed for you. What's really nice is you can get your results right away and you won't have to worry like for the ACT, you waited like three weeks to get your results. You can get that information right there. Um, in regards to St. Anthony, basically after we have that application process complete, we will reach out to you and say, great, thank you so much. Um, we also encourage you to look at our um, uh, transfer opportunities. Um, so again, our acceptance requirements are right up here, but again, that transfer evaluation, looking at your official transcripts will really give you a good idea of where you're at in that um, acceptance opportunity, whether it's at direct admission for um, traditional acceptance. And again, my name's Alina and I'm the recruiter here for St. Anthony College of Nursing, so we can touch base about that as well. Um, I do have a list of transfer guides on how to get that to our website, um, but again, I just like to throw this information up. So if you're going to any of these community colleges, it's a great transfer process. My information right up is on the website again. Um, would love to um, meet with you about your nursing opportunities at St. Anthony College of Nursing. Again, thank you all for joining us today. Um, thank you to all the presenters here today. It's been awesome being here and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, St. Anthony. Next, we're gonna have University of Wisconsin, Eau Claire. Awesome, can you guys hear me okay? Yes, Great. we can. Great. Uh, so my name is Matthew. Uh, I am from the University of Wisconsin, Eau Claire. Uh, I am the transfer admissions counselor here. Uh, and so I work uh, primarily all with transfer students. I'll tell you a little bit about UW Eau Claire and what we have to offer for our transfer students. So this is a aerial shot of our campus. Um, we're located about five hours northwest of Chicago, so not too far from home, but far enough so you're not super close. Um, campus is separated into two sections. Uh, right here in this bottom section is uh, what we call lower campus and then upper campus is above this tree line. Uh, lower campus is primarily reserved for academic buildings uh, and administrative buildings and upper campus is primarily for students uh, social environment uh, recreation those sorts of things it's a nice way to separate professional from uh, student student and uh, professional and personal life excuse me um, looking at some academic programs, uh, we have about 80 plus majors on campus. Uh, we are a liberal arts institution, so that means that every, every program on campus does have a general education or a liberal arts requirement, uh, and we do have a lot of majors to kind of suit every student on campus. Um, we're pretty popular in nursing business, as you can see there. Um, some of the more unique programs that we have is material science and engineering, just got its APET accreditation. Um, our healthcare administration program is phenomenal. And then we're always looking to add new programs. Uh, every year we're adding in new programs and, and developing our academic catalog. 
some of the things that we really take uh, serious for students on campus, especially for transfer students, is finding ways to get involved. Um, with over 250 student organizations on campus, there's lots of opportunity for students to meet uh, other students on campus. Uh, this image here is from a Blues Organization Bash. So all the student organizations kind of line up uh, out in what we call our campus mall. Um, and they set up these booths where they can lobby for new students to join. Um, some of the student organizations are gonna be very serious uh, pertaining to religion, politics, uh, those kinds of things, American Nurses Association. Um, and some of them are very lighthearted. Uh, I know that there's the uh, rugby club and then there's the group that gets together. They read and watch Harry Potter together. So kind of interesting, um, kind of everything in between. One of the other things that we really pride ourselves on is our offices of support on campus. Um, so we have about 17 offices of support on campus that are going to be support offices for any uh, and all types of student bodies and demographics on campus. Uh, a couple just off the top of my head, um, the Office of Multicultural Affairs will connect with students from different cultural identities uh, and hosting events and obviously enlightening students from outside of those identities. Um, veteran Services offers support services for our families of military veterans, um, mental health and counseling services. Uh, there's the Writing Center, Academic Support Center. Um, so there's lots of offices for students on campus in order to seek out support uh, as they need. The application process is pretty simple. Um, basically, our application is open right now. A student would need to submit the application, a $25 application fee. We would need the official high school transcript and then official college transcripts. Uh, ACT and SATs are, are not necessary, um, but they can help a student's decision if needed. And as far as the $25 application fee for any students uh, with financial hardship, we are absolutely available to provide a waiver for that application fee. Just go ahead and connect with us. As far as the review process, we'll look at uh, academic factors. Uh, primarily, college GPA is going to be the big thing we'll look at. Um, we'll look at trends in grades, course rigor. Um, and for applicants with fewer than 30 credits, we'll take into consideration some high school uh, credentials for those factors. On the right side of the screen, you'll see major specific GPA requirements for various majors that we do have on campus. Um, and so those are pretty firm, and we do stick to those. Uh, outside of that, our admissions requirements would just be a 2.0 uh, college GPA. As far as transferring credits, we're very uh, generous in accepting transfer credits as long as it's from an accredited institution. Um, you can see a few ways to see how your credits will transfer. Uh, you can utilize the transfer credit wizard right on our website. We're also on Transferology. Um, you can email myself for an unofficial evaluation, and then we'll pr produce an official evaluation uh, within a week of a student's acceptance. Uh, tuition and fees breakdown. Um, Illinois is a part of our MSEP program, so our tuition and fees is $12,000, um, and that's going to also include a uh, textbook rental exchange program. That would take care of a student's textbooks, about 40 to 60% of them, over the course of four years. Um, if you factor in room and meals, you're looking at $20,000 total, uh, but again, that tuition and fees for an Illinois student outside of nursing would be $12,000. Uh, our nursing students from Illinois uh, are not MSEP eligible. Uh, again, my name is Matthew Llewellyn. I'm the Transfer Admissions Counselor here at UW-Eau Claire. Uh, there's a couple ways to get a hold of me there. You can always reach out to me via email or text message. I'm here to help answer any questions that you might have in your transfer process. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire. Next, we're gonna have Wayne State University. Excellent. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. I'm really excited to talk about Wayne State. My name is Erica Searcy, and I am an admissions counselor who needs to share my screen. So give me a second. All right, there we are. And then if someone wouldn't mind confirming that you can see my screen. We can see your screen. Thank you so much. All right. So as I mentioned, my name is Erica Searcy and I am with Wayne State University, which you see in this backdrop here. This is our beloved building, Old Main. It was the founding building of Wayne State. We were actually founded in 1868. Um, and originally we were a medical college, but we have since grown to include a lot more colleges and have a lot of programs, which I'll talk about on the next slide. We are the third largest university in the state of Michigan. We are located in the heart of Detroit. And we are in the top 50 largest uh, universities in the country with just around 27,000 students coming from 48 of the different states and 76 countries around the world. 
We are also very proud to be Michigan's most diverse campus and certainly believe that this adds to the enrichment of your learning while you are a warrior. In terms of our academic programs, we now have 13 schools and colleges, everything ranging from our College of Engineering to our College of Fine Performing and Communications Arts and pretty much everything in between. We're Michigan's only urban research, public, uh, public research one university. We're offering over 350 different academic programs across all 13 of our schools and colleges. Uh, we have a student to faculty ratio of 16 to one. And for those of you who are interested for freshmen, we have a Wayne Med Direct program and of course a Bachelor of Science in Nursing for direct freshmen as well as transfer students. We are very proud to have the top two medical and law schools in the state of Michigan, uh, be in the top 20% of social work programs in the country, top 100 most innovative schools, top 100 uh, for our fine arts programs, which is located in our College of Fine Performing and Communications Arts. And we were also listed among uh, some of the best business schools by Princeton Review. So what we ask for our transfer students is that they have at least a 2.5 GPA and at least 24 transferable credits uh, when they do decide to transfer. Should you have a 2.0 uh, GPA, as long as you have an associate's degree, we would accept a 2.0 or higher. And we definitely have flexibility with these. Um, so if you don't have the full 24 credits of, of current college courses, we certainly can look at your high school background and your high school performance to sort of subsidize and help make those decisions. So I encourage students who are interested in Wayne State to apply no matter what, and we definitely do what we can to work with you. So something that I, I personally really enjoy about this university, I have been both a student here, I have transferred to Wayne State from other schools in search of things like this, is the amount of support we offer students. So, and of course, in addition to academic supports, career services, counseling and psychological services, anything that's gonna help make you successful as a student, we also really do our best to try to address any other potential non-academic barriers that a student could be facing. An example of this might be our food pantry on campus where students can go and pick up groceries anytime they need free of charge. We offer, we have what's called the Warrior Wardrobe on campus, really exciting, just opened up a few years ago, where students can go and shop, it's for free, but essentially shop for gently used professional clothing if you're starting a new job or you have a job interview. So really wanting to meet students where they're at um, and potentially address any barriers. As one of the largest universities in the country, we have a lot to do when you're not in the classroom. That's gonna in, uh, include our 500 plus student organizations, as well as our 18 NCAA teams. We are an NCAA two school. Uh, and like I said, so much to do, not only within the school, but again, being located in an urban city like Detroit, you have access to all of the things that come uh, with the perks of being in a big city. So in terms of being on campus, about 3,500 of our students do decide that they wish to stay on campus with us every year in one of our seven residence halls and apartment buildings, although it is not required for anyone should they not wish to. Our housing rates range anywhere from 5,700 per year to 2,600 per year, depending on um, the type of residence hall or apartment you're staying in. So I talked briefly about location. Uh, we are located, like I said, in Midtown, which is about a mile north of downtown Detroit, the very heart of downtown Detroit. And with that comes access to public performance space venues, restaurants, eateries, uh, if you are interested in internships, I mean, you couldn't be in a better location than an urban downtown city. You have access to hospitals, major Fortune 500 companies. There is so much at your fingertips in the city, and it's a really special place if you are not familiar that I definitely encourage you to explore more. So applying to Wayne State is a very simple process. You want to actually start by going to wayne.edu slash apply, or you can apply uh, using the Common App if you wish. Uh, in typical years, we ask for a transcript. Well, actually for transfer students, we would just need your transcript and your application. I forgot I'm in a transfer fee. I don't need to talk about the freshman. <laughs> so in terms of tuition, our in-state tuition is just under 14,000. Our out of state is 29,000. But the great news for Illinois students, if you check out the note at the bottom of this slide, 
all of our Illinois applicants who complete the application and FAFSA by our one of our scholarship deadlines is guaranteed to receive an out of state scholarship, either to the Discover Detroit scholarship or Great Lakes, which gives you in state or nearly in state tuition. And you can also earn a merit scholarship on top of that and even potentially a need based scholarship. So we've had students in the past from Illinois who've paid zero dollars out of pocket in tuition, all they were paying for are books and housing. Super important to fill out your FAFSA. Again, that's related to being eligible for some of those uh, scholarships. The deadlines are under number three. So if you're applying for winter, it's October 1st or fall, June 1st. And we hope you schedule a tour at way.edu slash tour. That's all I have for you. Thanks so much. Sorry, I went over a few seconds. Wayne said you're totally fine. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right, next we're gonna have Wheaton College. Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. I'm the Transfer Admissions Counselor at Wheaton. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. John, if you could confirm for me that you can see this, that would be awesome. We can see it looks great. Okay, perfect. Um, awesome, so like I said, I'm the Transfer Admissions Counselor at Wheaton College. We're located in Wheaton, Illinois, so about 25 miles west of downtown Chicago. Um, I'm excited to yeah, share with you a little bit about us and the transfer process. Uh, I myself am a Wheaton grad. I graduated in 2016, so love talking about my alma mater and always happy to connect with you and share more about my experience. Um, I'll start with um, our mission. What's the most important thing about us? Um, we are a distinctively Christian institution. Um, we were founded in 1860, and our motto is for Christ in his kingdom. Um, you can see uh, on this picture here, this is a picture of our chapel. Um, the faith commitment at Wheaton is central to everything that we do. So we do have chapel Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's a great time for our student body to spend time in worship together. Um, and as a distinctly Christian liberal arts institution, um, that does mean that all of our students, um, faculty, and staff are committed Christians on our campus. So if you're looking for an environment where you can grow in your faith and be challenged and supported by your peers in that um, Wheaton is definitely a place that I would encourage you to look into a bit more. Um, we are rated the number one distinctively Christian college among national liberal arts colleges, according to U.S. News and World Report. Um, we're the top Christian college on their list, the only one even in the top 100. So um, what our kind of unique position is, is the opportunity to have that Christ-centered community and environment, but to also get to do that um, within an institution that challenges you academically and really prepares you for um, life beyond Wheaton. Um, so yeah, I'll share a bit about academics. Um, as I said, we are a liberal arts institution, which means that we do have general education requirements that go along with your major choice. Um, we have over 50 different majors and programs um, through our College of Arts and Sciences, but then also through our Conservatory of Music. So we do offer professional music degrees through our conservatory. If you're interested in that, we have a good amount of transfers you transfer into our conservatory programs. Um, within our College of Arts and Sciences, our most popular majors are business, psychology, applied health science, biology, and English. So kind of goes all the way across different disciplines. We have strengths in a lot of areas. Um, and what I love about our community is that you're always going to be in those small group environments. So our student to faculty ratio is 10 to 1. Our average class size is 23 students. So you're really going to have the opportunity to, yes, get to know other students in classes, um, but more importantly, to really get to know your professor as well. Um, they really want to invest in you as a student. Um, but even more than that, they want to invest in you as a whole person because they care about the mission of our college and want to walk alongside you in all areas of your life. So um, that was one of my favorite parts as a student was getting to build relationships with my professors and with other staff on campus as well. Um, what I love is that you can be confident about um, your choice on Wheaton because it's going to launch you into the future successfully. So we have a 99% landed rate. So within six months of your graduation from Wheaton, um, you're going to be in your desired next step, whether that be a job, um, grad school, military service. Um, our Career Center does an amazing job helping students find that next step beyond graduation. Um, and they do that in a lot of different ways. Obviously, we have a ton of internship opportunities while you're a student. So about 85% of our students have at least one internship while they're here. And we offer scholarships for unpaid internships as well. So you can really get the practical experiences that you want in the areas that you're interested in. Um, and then, of course, beyond that, they offer a ton of things like resume assistance, job interview assistance. They're really helping students find jobs and launch their careers beyond graduation. 
So talking a little bit more about our student body, um, we have 2,400 undergraduate students. So like I said, a small campus um, where you're gonna always see people that you know, but you're also gonna meet new people in your classes and in the dining hall all the time as well. Um, what's great for students from Illinois is that actually about 80% of our students come from outside the state. So you can live a few blocks away from our campus, but stepping onto our campus really feels like you're not in Illinois anymore. You're gonna to get to build relationships and have friendships with students from all over the world. Um, we have all 50 states represented um, in over 90 countries as well. Um, and within our student body, about 30% are domestic students of color, an additional 10 to 15% are students coming from an overseas context in some way. So it's a really amazing student body of students from all over the world. Um, and because so many of our students um, come from out of state, we are very residential. So students uh, come from far away, they come to Wheaton, they make it their home, they really invest in what's going on on campus. Um, about 90% of our students live on campus all four years. So we're not a campus where students go home on the weekends. Uh, they're really invested in what's happening. And as a result, there's tons to do. So we have over 100 different student groups and activities. There's always events happening on campus. Um, we're an NCAA Division III uh, athletic school. So um, sports are a big part of our campus life as well. But there's so much to choose from. Um, and we have so many ways that you can get involved on campus. Um, in our student center, we have a bunch of different offices that house different student groups or leadership organizations. Um, those would be our Office of Christian Outreach, our Student Activities Office, our Office of Multicultural Development, and our International Student Programs Office. So within each of those spaces, there's lots of ways for you to get plugged in based upon your interests um, and how you wanna get involved on campus. I do wanna talk a little bit about the transfer application process. Um, we are rolling admissions for transfer students. Um, and so you can apply at any point. I work one-on-one -on -one with every student and I'd really encourage you to reach out for, uh, with me and we can kind of walk through a timeline that works best for you. We offer academic scholarships for our transfer students that range from 10 to 16,000 a year. There's no separate application for that. So when you apply to Wheaton, you're gonna be automatically considered for those scholarships. We also offer need-based financial aid via the FAFSA. Um, we also can offer you a credit transfer evaluation at any point in the process. So all you need to do is send me an email and I'll walk you through how we can kind of give you a transfer credit evaluation prior to you uh, applying or throughout your application process. Um, you can see my email information there. I would love to connect with you. Um, would love to encourage you to apply. And we also are offering um, in-person and virtual visits right now. Um, you can schedule one at wheaton.edu slash visit. Thanks so much. And thank you so much, Wheaton College. All right, at this point, we're gonna ha have the panelists answer one question from us even to give them, give you all some great feedback about finding the right kind of college environment for themselves as well. So if you all could go in the order of you presenting and just give us a piece of advice of helping something you can help transfer students through the process. Hi again, this is Kelly from Aurora University, and I would recommend connecting with us, your transfer counselor. Um, we are going to be a great resource in um, helping make sure your credits transfer and that you're on the right path and that the school's a good fit. And it, could I also, <laughs> I would say, do your homework. Um, I, and you're starting that homework today by uh, attending a fair but visit campuses, um, search the internet, always do your homework, be prepared. Awesome, I'll jump in here. I'm gonna speak for uh, both of us from Illinois Tech. The things that, the two most important things I would say is contact the advisors there at whichever school we can give you a lot of advice on which courses you should be taking if you're planning well in advance or ways to strengthen your application in terms of your essay and letters of recommendation. The other thing that I highly suggest for all students to get uh, input on how they'll fit in is to try to get in touch with current students, see if you can meet them. A lot of schools will offer that as a service when you come to their campus. So uh, definitely check that out, see how you get along with the current students at that school. Okay, I will jump in first, say Anthony College of Nursing. So mine is, my advice is a little bit more focused on healthcare, um, but for nursing specifically, looking at a college's NCLEX pass rate, um, I know we mentioned that before in the beginning of my presentation, but looking at that NCLEX pass rate for nursing, if you're looking to another healthcare field, if you're required to take an exam, a pre-license or an exam, definitely looking in, into that would be 
my absolute biggest piece of advice because that's going to reflect on how well the program is going to um, help you pass that exam, but also to be um, successful in your career field. The other piece would be um, looking at the acceptance rates into um, your healthcare program, again, specifically for nursing that I've focusing on is looking at when you want to transfer and what that school's transfer process looks like. Um, so when you want to start in their nursing program and when that school is going to expect you to start into that. So NCLEX pass rates and acceptance rates. Um, so that is my piece of advice and I wish everyone the best of luck. So my advice for the transfer process this is Matthew from University of Wisconsin Eau Claire. Um, you know, it, it's a lot of echo and what everybody else has to say, but I think to get a little bit outside of the box, um, visit campuses. Uh, knowing how you're going to feel as a student on a specific campus is extremely important. Uh, you know, whether or not you're going to be comfortable there, whether or not you're going to be supported, if it's a place where you can make connections and build a network. Um, part of going to college outside of getting a degree is building a network. Um, that's where your network starts is on a college campus. And so knowing that you're going to be accepted on a campus and it's a place where you can uh, start to establish that network. Um, the other thing I think is also very important is finding a place that's going to provide you opportunities to get field experience within your degree. Um, so those are the two things that I would definitely recommend uh, looking at in the transfer process. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with with what all of my colleagues here have said. I definitely think it is, I'm sorry, Erica from Wayne State University, think it is incredibly important, aside from looking at, you know, the program and the rigor of a school, understanding the culture and the values of that school itself is incredibly important if you're going to, and if you're going to feel comfortable there. I myself transferred from University of Chicago to Wayne State University. Um, and I really, you know, it was, a, it was a product of maybe not doing all the homework, visiting the campus, seeing how you feel. So that is incredibly, incredibly important to do. This is Catherine from Wheaton. Um, my biggest piece of advice would be to say yes. And I feel like you can do that in a lot of stages in the process. So, you know, as you're applying, as you're looking at schools, saying yes to the types of things that schools offer, such as virtual opportunities to connect with current students or obviously in-person opportunities to visit campus. But once you do decide where you want to go, once you're on campus, say yes to a lot of stuff, get plugged into different communities on campus. And that's going to be a great way for you to, um, yeah, meet the people that you're going to be friends with for the rest of your time there. Wonderful advice from everyone. Thank you all so much. And thank you all for joining us this evening. When you close this window, there'll be a quick four question survey that you will complete. Remember that the recording of this event will be available in a week at strivescan.com backslash Illinois. To the reps, thank you so much for joining me this evening. To everybody out there, thank you for joining us as well. And you all have a wonderful evening. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, John. Have a good evening, everybody. Thank you. Have a great one. Thank you.